Hey everybody, my name's Jen and I'm a master planner with Marvelous Mouse Travels. Today, I thought I'd hop on and show you how to bring a little bit of the Disney magic home to your kitchen. We are going to be making the decadent and delicious chocolate lava cake. This cake can be found at the California Grill at the Contemporary Resort, and it is quite a treat. So, I am gonna have a helper today. My son, Colin, is a budding chef. So he's going to be joining me to help prepare this delicious cake for you. So let's get started. So for this delicious and magical recipe, you're going to need just a handful of ingredients. It's actually quite simple to make. You will need one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, and of course, being from Central PA, we are Hershey's all the way. So one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You will also need three quarters cup of sugar, a third a cup of flour, and five egg yolks and four whole eggs. You also will need two sticks of butter. And then you'll want to get your oven preheated to 375 and begin your cooking. So the first thing you'll wanna do after you get all of your ingredients together and all of your supplies ready, um, you will want to have six ramekins to pour the lava cake mix into for cooking. You can also use cupcake tins if you don't have ramekins. I do not have the traditional little round ramekins, so I'm using one of my pepper check larger ramekins, um, but it works. These are great, we've done it before. What you'll need to do is just take some butter and lightly coat the inside of the ramekin with butter. This will keep your chocolate lava cakes from sticking when they are finished cooking. So you want to do that lightly and then you will also sprinkle just a bit of sugar in there and kind of swirl it around to coat those sides and then your ramekin is ready to go. Okay, so we have our ramekins ready and waiting. We are preheating our oven. Your next step is going to be to pour your semi-sweet chocolate chips into a bowl as well as your two sticks of butter. Now, the recipe does call for a double boiler for this step. If you don't have a double boiler, which I do not, you can kind of create your own from a heat safe bowl. Um, I'm using a metal bowl and I'm just going to put it over a pan with boiling water. And voila, you have your own double boiler. You're going to let that water boil. You're gonna melt the chocolate and the butter together and stir those until they are smooth and creamy, about 10 minutes. Okay, so once your butter and chocolate chips have melted and blended together and are making like a smooth sauce, you're going to remove that from the stove and you will cool it for 10 minutes. Okay, while your chocolate sauce is cooling off, you're going to do the next step, which is blending the eggs and the sugar. So you're going to add the five egg yolks. Thank you, Colin. And the four whole eggs and our three quarter cups of sugar. Thanks. And then you're going to blend those until they are thick and light. And that, I'm going to use this, you could also use a hand mixer or you could just use your own whisk. Um, I like my machine because it makes it so much easier for those two minutes. <laughs> chocolate and we have combined the eggs and the sugar and you are going to slowly fold in your chocolate mixture. So I'm just going to pour that into here, give it some time to blend a little at a time. And that is starting to look really delicious. <laughs> Then, get, just scrape the sides here, make sure we get every last bit of that. You don't want to leave any chocolate behind. Okay, so we've done that. And then you're going to begin to sift in your flour. And that's one third cup of flour. Sift this in without it getting all over the place. Okay, so I've sifted in my flour and we're going to just fold that in gently. I'm not using the blender for this part. I'm just using a rubber spatula to fold my flour into my chocolate mixture. 
Okay, and now your chocolate mixture is all ready. We're going to put it in the ramekin. Um, just scoop it. You want your ramekins to be about three quarters of the way full. If you're doing cupcake tins instead, you will also want to do about three quarters full on those as well. So I have my ramekin ready and then we're going to bake. Okay, so once you've filled your ramekins, you're going to put those on a cookie sheet and place those into your 375 degree oven. They cook for 35 to 40 minutes. So they're out, they're ready to go. What you wanna do is take a knife and very gently just go around the edges so that they come out nicely and you can flip them over and get ready to serve. Okay, our lava cakes are ready. They look delicious and I'm going to go ahead and get in there for a little bite and see how it turned out. Oh my gosh, they're so good. These are outstanding. So now you have all the tools you need. I will be posting the recipe, a copy of the actual recipe at the end of this video so that you can go find it, get a screenshot and make your own version. Um, please, if you're interested in more Disney recipes, Marvelous Mouse Travels page, uh, Facebook page, we are posting those. I am posting them on my Facebook page at Jen M Marvelous Mouse Travels. And um, go in, make them. We have beignets, we have drinks, we have fun adult drinks and fun family friendly drinks. We have breakfast, we have dinner, we have great snacks. So. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you get to make a lava cake or another magical Disney recipe and bring some of that magic to your home. Thanks again, bye.